Fighting fit at 150, these are the future faces of our armed forces, celebrating the cadet force's birthday with a starring role on board the RAF's world-famous Red Arrows. These lucky seven were hand-picked for their achievements. Very excited actually, but kind of a bit nervous. <laughs> Hannah Barrett from Derby's Combined Cadet Force joined others from the Air, Sea and Army. The teenagers enjoyed the best seats in the house for a fly past over Buckingham Palace, where 1,500 of their peers marched below for the Cadet 150 celebrations. Let's hope it's not once in a lifetime because the idea behind uh, what we're doing uh, with the Cadet Force is to encourage our high potential youngsters in the country to join the British Armed Forces and we may yet see some of these people on the Red Arrows one day. Breaking now. The hour-long white knuckle ride was over all too soon. Hey. But their memories of this will last forever. We have obviously fly smaller aircraft, but nothing that's absolutely incredible like that. One minute you're here and the next 25 minutes to London. So it's just, it's so fast and so quick and it's absolutely amazing. I've been to the shows and I've seen the Red Arrows before, but never in a million years have I thought I'd ever be able to sit in one. And it just, you feel like you can reach out and touch the planes next to you, they really are so close. A ride with the best of the best and a fitting tribute for the cream of Britain's Cadet Corps. Anthony Bartram, East Midlands Today, Scampton.